Welcome to the Encore. Today, we are going to talk about gambling. Uh-oh. Ooh, throwing Uh-oh. the dice. Viva Las Vegas. Playing cards, whatever that would be. So kind of talk about um, what gambling means. What We're going to talk what, about cryptocurrency then? Uh-oh. It goes, it, yeah, dude. It's all a part of it, right? For and, sure it you is. You know where, where those lines are. All of that. All of that. So what do you got this morning? We, it's not what I have. I know. Scott. We got it's something, not huh? what I have. Yeah. It's what you have. Oh, man. It's time for you to unveil to our faithful viewers a development that has happened in your life. Huge development. Huge development. That I thought would never happen. Yeah, I kind of thought it would never happen, too. But it so happened. I think we brought it up here maybe a few weeks for ago. For sure we have. And it is the idea of getting a dog. And I, so after the, after the encore, many people came up to me and said, Hey, are you getting a dog? I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of people. I mm-hmm. can't even remember how. And I basically said, It was on my oldest son, who today is his 14th birthday. Happy birthday, Riley. Um, Happy he, birthday, Riley. He really, really, really wants this dog. And I grew up with a dog, but, you know, I, I said, You know, life, life is busy. I just wasn't ready. So we had had long conversations and looking online and researching all of all of the things. Mm-hmm. But then I considered getting a, a rabbit because I wanted the eggs in my house. Organic egg. Well, you free range it in the yard. Yeah, yeah. So it comes in, go collect the eggs. But it just it just wasn't going to work out. So <laughs> my goodness, if you don't know that reference, you got to watch last week. But whoa, <laughs> wow, a little uh, a little mishap of the mind right there for a minute. So you got a dog. We got a dog. So we ended up going to adopt the pet Fenton. Um, what a do gooder! Oh, dude! What stop a do gooder! Stop it! I didn't even. I didn't even know it was a thing. Let's I, go I, plant some trees later. Let's just shut plant your a few yapper. trees and, and just. You you are just mad because you spent millions on a purebred. I'd have a bigger house if I didn't buy that dog. <laughs> I'd have a new truck. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not about doing good. I literally didn't even know where to find a no, dog. No, it's a great idea. I've, 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 I used to walk through there for entertainment. Did you and really think about which dog? I still. It was the one in Flint. I would, oh, I would go okay. to the Flint Humane Society. Yeah. Okay, so this is what happened, man. I don't want to make this too long. Mm-hmm. The the Genesee County Humane Society had a oh animal control. I think is what it is. Yeah, that's the one I would go. to. Had an event, yeah. and so we were like, hey, let's go. I thought we were going to be able to walk through and see. Sometimes know, you 50, can fifty dogs pre COVID. Still, oh my still. Goodness. So what they do is they'll, they'll. There was a bunch of people there. They bring out a dog here and there. Oh wow! Okay. And we were like, okay, we'll go home and talk about it. And then my wife Jessica was like, I think there's one in Fenton. I adopt a pet. I'm like, sweet, let's go. You go buy it and go. I knew this thing was here, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, you drive yeah. by it all yeah. the time. That was great because then they they literally walked you through and you could see. Oh, that's I think nice. There was about fifteen dogs. Okay. Anywho, you got one of. We them. We decided to go with the dog. And uh, I have a confession to make. You like it, don't you? I'm in love with the thing, dude. Like I, this is so love funny. this thing. Not and not because I I, I knew that I kind of knew this would happen. I grew up with dogs, and my kids kept saying, "Dad, we get a dog. You're gonna love it." And I'm like, I know I probably would. It's like this mental thing yeah. of just like not letting yourself go yeah. there because yeah. I knew what it would entail. But now that it's here and it's home and it's ours, dude, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. And mm-hmm. I don't want to jinx anything, but things have been a little too easy. Uh, listen, I don't know. Some dogs, don't know. Are, are spe- some dogs, it goes really well. It'll probably go well for you. I mean, you got a great wife that is just going to you know, take care of the dog yeah. when you're not around, yeah. and, and your kids will be responsible, and that's I, I think it'll be great. Yeah. I like, I have two dogs. One yeah. I love. The other one. Oh, yeah. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, my boy, Smokey, man. I, I love him. Like, I come home and he sits his head on my lap. Like, it doesn't mean I want a dog. I still say this is probably my last dog. Uh-huh. I don't want any more dogs, but I still love the one I got. And I have another one, the Australian Shepherd, and she's really smart. And I think she loves me, but I just don't need that dog. That's funny. You know, I, your I kids just, are the opposite. They like the other they one? They told me, I asked them this weekend, yeah, and I, I, I'm not going to say all five of them. I can't, I mm-hmm. talked to Franklin and um, maybe Quentin or Joe, I can't remember, but they're like, they 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 don't like Smokey. They don't like, it's not I right. know they what you love mean. Keen Eye and Smokey's just a dog just there. Yeah, because he's he's mine. Oh, he's that maybe boy. that's yeah, why. Yeah, he's my maybe boy. And why. he, you know, he listens to me. He doesn't listen. He listens to me. He's very, you have to win his affection, Scott. He's not a emotionally insecure animal. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so you have a game. We have a game. We yeah, talk about I want to try dog. something today. We have a game for the viewers. A game for the viewers. It's not uh, anything important, but it'll no, be fun. No, but it'll be fun. I'm gonna, let me uh, let's set this up. Going to the Fenton Adopt a Pet, um, they, get, they get pets from so many different places. They don't know where it comes from. They don't know mm-hmm. their, all, the, all the history. It's just given to them. So they did not know the breed of this yeah. dog. All right. Uh, didn't even have a good guess, which I kind of expected a little more. I thought maybe right. they could give me a guess. They were right. like, not even going to try. Okay. Don't even know. Good luck to you. Wow. Uh, I did learn of a DNA test. Okay. This is apparently a thing. That's crazy. So I am curious enough Only to in America. know. America. Uh, right? I know. I'm curious enough to know uh, what the breed is. Yeah. So I'm going to do a DNA test, but we're going to play a game first because play there's some dog people out there. That people be crazy about might dogs might be able to tell, and you have a prize, yeah, for we're the gonna, winner. We're gonna give a gift card of some sort to, to be determined. <laughs> to be determined, uh, I think it'll take three weeks or something for the uh, the, the test to come back. I don't know for sure, so be patient. We got I got two pictures of my boy Finn. My dog's name is Finn. Finn Huck. Yeah, not Huck Finn. No, just Finn. Finland. <laughs> we call Shark, him. We Finn. call him <laughs> Go dolphin. All right, so. Todd, we got those pics of Finn. Okay, there's okay. there's my buddy. So the question you're asking the viewers is what? I kind would of- like we're we're gonna guess as much as you can the breed. Now, uh, obviously it's a mix, so you can throw in you know two three two three guesses within one, and we'll see how Obviously this comes more back. than one breed. I'm I'm for sure I'm going to the wall that there's a pit bull in that dog. All right. Well, let me give a couple of stats numbers that I do know if this matters he is that's three months old three months and he's old. 30 pounds he's a big dog so he's a good size so if that helps decent size begin yeah. anything um that's all I got for you he's got big paws he's, he's, he's yeah the paws are decent that? what is that other dog he's got a labish look yeah I, I thought his face looked like a lab but he's I, got I don't those know the... spots and the white yeah yeah. Oh, go back and forth, Todd. I can't. I can't pin it down. Todd, <laughs> what do you think it is? What do you think it, if it's? What do you think it is? Terrier. Terrier. Huh? Well, a pit bull is a terrier. Oh, okay. So when you say pit bull, you're talking about the paws. Is that what it is? No, the, I'm talking about. The chest? I might be wrong, but he's got like a. It's not quite a lab head. He looks like he might be kind of muscly one mm. day. You know, is he muscly? Like he looks, he's got the physique of a, mm-hmm. but I might be dead wrong. I'm going to, just because I'm out of guesses and I don't want to waste all day. Yeah. I'm going to put down a pit bull and a lab, but I, I'm going to say here and now I'm wrong. <clears throat> There's something else in that dog. I feel like, cause of those, that white with the spots, all I right. don't know what's going on there. All right. So let us know. So let's uh, just to be fair, I'm just, we're just going to leave it to two venues: an email, a direct email, or a Facebook comment. Yeah. I don't know where else we could search. What email? Encore at rockfenton.com. dot mm-hmm. What's that? YouTube. Comments, oh, YouTube comments. So I guess I, I don't ever check YouTube. So we go YouTube comments, Facebook comments, or Encore at rockfenton. Dot com, fire your best guess. We'll see what we can do. All right, let's talk. We ready? Yeah, let's hey, let's talk about gambling. So this table is sort of like a card table. Like oh a, yeah, it's card table. Flip cards. Okay, now I know we bring this up a lot, <clears throat> a lot. Mm-hmm. Backgrounds and assumptions of where we come from and, and what it is. So yeah. for me, I grew up like even a deck of cards was a no no. So I never. My family of being people from Not my family, my... Well, my my point is my religious upbringing probably Mm -hmm. did say that. But Mm -hmm. my family being from Michigan, Mm -hmm. what's the one card game everyone in Michigan plays? Euchre, except Uh, for you. But of course I know how to play (laughs) it because you're born in Michigan. You got to play Euchre. Euchre Yeah, I know. So my family played that. So cards were allowed because they're like, we're we're not having this. But someone probably was saying that, though, within the church somewhere. Cards are bad. But I have heard. Oh, that I sure. definitely heard it. Yeah, it, my my family was not this way. <clears throat> it was you know the church circles or whatever. So mm-hmm. we couldn't even you know we'd have youth group events. Somebody would be like, "Hey, let's play go fish." Like put those cards away. That is preposterous. But if I might say, so. Uh, I'm with you. I so mean, yeah, kindly, yeah, preposterous. Yeah. Okay. 
What do you think the definition of gambling is? Here's here's wow, good question. And and I bring it up because here, here's what I I'm just gonna be honest. Reveal some cards here. <laughs> See what I did. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it when people will use the word gambling almost as if it is already a bad thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The yes, word gambling just has a negative connotation. Yes, it does. Big time. Yeah. And I would say, let's let's be careful. Let's talk about the word gambling and you, even do say- Do you have a definition? I sure do. I was on to see if you- if Well, you, let, me, uh, let me say it. Let me yeah, say it. see if you <clears throat> could take a- I'm going to bring up my phone. Um- Putting forth resources of your own on the chance that they could return more than the original value. I mean, too many words, but that's pretty good. That's a lot of words. That's pretty good. So, um, what do you got? Yeah, Oxford Dictionary would just say taking risky action in the hope of a desired result. Okay. So there is okay. definitely risk uh-huh. to it, and there is a a hope in something coming out of it. Yeah, sure. So that doesn't even be money, like. I'm, no, I'm going to gamble doesn't. if I jump off this cliff. That water down there is deep enough. Absolutely. Gamble. Okay. And so just to back up, when people be like, oh, you a gambler? I'm like, back up. They're saying something else. Yeah. Yeah. The word gamble. Dude, we're taking gambles every day of our life. Like Absolutely. There is, there Can is, I make it home on this much gas? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let's just be careful how the term is used when we say that. Look at gamble. this. Play games of What's, chance uh, for money. Where does this come from? Bet. Take risky action, hope of a desired result. That was kind of the second. The second one is one I used. Dictionary. Oh, nice, nice. Dot Play com. games of chance for money. All right. Try one's luck on the horses. Very Who's good. Gambling every penny. Okay, so there's a there's a multitude of applications. There is a multitude of applications. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's not talk about driving with an empty tank. Let's talk yep. about Everyone, putting forth yep. money. Mm-hmm. To some degree, that could be poker, that could be a lottery ticket, that could be a horse race. Stock market? That could be the stock market. People don't like hearing that. That could be- uh, Oh, it's not gambling. Yes, Buying a house in return, hoping 100%. for a return of investment. Any, any, any investment. Any right? investment. For the most part. Right. There's some level. Right. Right. Like, well, a house always appreciates. Not always. You buy high, it crashes low. Always upside, a risk. There would be no such term as upside down on my mortgage right? if houses always appreciate. Yeah, yeah. So that's a gamble. Yeah. Now s- other things go into that. Like you could just yeah. be, I'm just looking for yeah. a place to live. I wasn't trying to risk my future. Yeah, yeah. But um, so let's go. Let's go into you know the question as a Christian: Should I gamble? Can I gamble? And really, this is, um, this is a hard question. Massively gray area, of course. It's a hard question because what are you saying by that? Start a business. I got to invest my mm-hmm. money in the hopes that I make a profit. Is that a gamble? Yes, it is. Right. Here's some. So here's some. So things. are we talking about a casino? Because I think I, you know I want it all to be included when we discuss the the mindset of going into it, and we can get into the casino portion of it too, or the game. Some There's people do game. it for a, yeah. there's a game, and then there's a life. Like I, yeah, I'm investing in something to right. come. Right. Yeah. Become financially stable for my family. And then there's I'm playing this game and we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. So <laughs> Yeah. Um and I and I would say within every one of them, there is a whether you know it or not, there is a calculated risk. It doesn't mean you calculated the cost. You're right. But there is higher, lower percentages. There's literally based, number. Based on, it's a yes, mathematical it's a reality. Mathematical yeah. Um so I do have some some scripture to talk about. Just kind of reminders, I guess, for myself or whatever, to go, why am I doing this? Uh, what is it for? Also, do you know, maybe you know this because commercials and ads are crazy. Uh, like online sports gambling is now legal I, in the in state of face. Michigan. Yeah. Everywhere. So if you haven't seen this, it's because you don't turn, not a bad thing, don't turn on the TV or you're not on the internet. It's well, I, I literally don't have live TV, and I've seen plenty of that yeah. somewhere because they force it so much on YouTube commercials. I YouTube, think. yeah, yeah, or you live stream something, yeah. and, and mm-hmm. a commercial comes up. So at the click of your phone right now, I can put um, ten dollars on the Tigers game today. It's something like that, like that happens all the time. And so mm-hmm. the question you are posing is what is this? Uh, what are the lines to be drawn? Of can I can I do this or not? When is too much too much? Um, what are the thing? What are the things I should be asking myself? Going, 
can a Christian gamble? So I'm gonna I'm gonna answer by right. this. I would say, for me, I don't think I don't think there's this is obviously a gray area like we're talking about with drinking and things. I don't think there is a black and white yes no. Mm-mm. I don't see it. Right. There might be. I don't, I've never seen it. Right. Be- I've looked, too. It's not like I'm just answering right now. I've yeah. thought this through before. Yeah. And then, so let, let me, so first Timothy uh, 6.10, I have my notes over here. So uh, money is the root of all evil, right? Is that what it says? No, that's right. <laughs> that's one <laughs> right. of the biggest misconceptions One of the, the biggest misquotes. So money is the root of all evil has been said a lot. It's, it is what? The love. The love of money. The love now, of money. Okay. Let, let's start with that. And that would include uh, anybody's heart, I guess. So what what is your reason for it? Now, here's, here's where it's tough because we all have to make money to survive mm-hmm. every day of our life, right? Mm-hmm. So you go, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm in the stock market, right? I'm investing stocks. I'm trying to pay bills and make a living, yeah. look at long-term investments for my future. Is that wrong? Well, I don't know. I, yeah. it, it, it could. It's the same answer. Mm-hmm. It could be. Mm-hmm. It could be. Mm-hmm. And it's not the same. Ah, someone's going to argue me on this, and they might yeah. be right. They might yeah. be right. The Bible says a worker. Something about a worker is worth his wages. Yeah, yeah. That's not necessarily. Although people make that work, they make that their job or whatever. This is my job. Yeah. But really, in a way, you're kind of a professional gambler. If that's your only, you're, you're, they're going to say investor, mm-hmm. but it's the same. A, if I go build decks for a price, there's not a lot of gamble in that. The only gamble is, will this guy pay me? You know, it's yeah. like, this is there's a, a little gamble, but it's not the it's same. It's not the, not same. the same. So that is a worker worth his mm-hmm. wages. You know, if mm-hmm. you don't work, the Bible says you don't eat. Mm-hmm. And so, so you, you take that. So that's something outside of what the Bible seems to define as work, yeah, toil. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily. But that's not the cleanest answer either, because you can be a stockbroker, you can be an investment 100%. banker, you can be these things, and those are you real could jobs. Be a pro- you could be a legitimate professional poker player. Like those, those are there are oh people out word. there that are doing. Oh that. my word, you're in such a territory right now. Huge. And so yeah. then, could you be a Christian and clean before God? Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. And so in, in their defense, I would say that those are, those are people that understand numbers. And you would say, it, hmm. to me, it's not the same as a slot machine. You're not going in blind going, did I win or did I lose? These guys are taking calculated risks, yeah. understanding the numbers, and yeah. they're, they're playing the odds. And they would say- And they make a life, a living. Make a life, but there's also people that fail a life of it, right? Yes. So, yeah, I don't know. Um so where you know where where is that percentage of risk that all of a sudden makes it wrong, you know? And I and not to be super cliche, but I would say it kind of comes down to the intent of the heart, mm-hmm. and and even in a um, I guess this is this is I'll let you chime in whenever you feel. Interrupt me what if you want, but so like you know the old the old yeah so good Todd, thank you for that. Yeah, uh, can, just yeah, away. Can we, <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. The there scripture go. says, "You shall not muzzle an ox when he treads out the grain, and the laborer deserves his wages." Laborer. Yeah. So people, but there could be a lot behind that word laborer. But that's yeah, what I was referring yeah. to. Thank you, Todd. For yeah. Seventy five eighteen. Yeah, that's that's almost a separate issue where people go at. Well, that ain't work. That ain't work. But there, there but it is. Th- it can be. It can, it can be. be. You gotta be careful. You'd have to be careful. I mean, I'm talking got- to myself because I wanted to fight it on that scripture, but I, it right. wouldn't be. Fair, right? Like, yeah, we're not super comfortable with it, but there are people that are Instagram influencers that that that's their, that's their life now. Then they're making money off of it. There's professional video and game players. It requires talent. It requires it work. It Effort requires and, yeah. you know a grind every day. It, it, it works. I mean, it, it's it's a job. I mean, it's yeah. You can't, you can't. But I get the struggle. Like if, if your son came to you, I think we're kind of on another thing here. I'm just if your son came to you and was like, hey, I wanna I wanna invest my life into video games and become a professional video game player, you'd be like, get out of my get off my oh. lawn. Get off my lawn. No, you want, <laughs> no, you'd, you'd I wouldn't you, say. You, not really. But it you, would be, it'd be yeah, you'd, you'd have like, to get through something. Yes. But part of that is generational culture too, which it is. every generation yeah. has to deal with. And I never want to be the guy that's like, these kids these days. I'm, well, I'm with you. T- it just culture and reality change. changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're growing up in an era. Like my son was born the year the iPhone came out. Think about right, that. They have, right. oh, this is another thing. But we're in another. Thing. So yeah. all right, back to yeah. 
Um, yeah, so then we talk about uh, Hebrews 13.5 says, Keep your life free from the love of money. Be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So mm-hmm. there is certainly a principle in in contentment. You know, Paul talks about that a lot. I've had a lot. I've had a little. I'm going to be content in, yeah. in the things that I have. So I guess for me, you'd, you'd have to start with going, am I really struggling with contentment? Like, is there, am I going out there for this... Um, extra bigger thing you know you hit that that lottery ticket <laughs> you know and but you're like if you, you're putting hopes and dreams in it i think there there could mm-hmm. be an issue there so so let, let me so all right let me ask you this question is it fair to say just to give people some kind of clarity because this mm-hmm. is murky water we keep it, treading it, it in is, but it's it but we have to embrace the murkiness not to not give an answer, but just admit there is tension and there is gray sometimes mm-hmm. in the Bible. So, like, because it comes down to the personal motivation of the heart, like you say. Yeah. Is it fair to say a black and white statement? If I'm doing this because I love getting more money, is that evil? I think so. In I that, think in then, that you, sense, then you're, in a you're, you're going straight to First Timothy six, where it's basically saying like, I, I want this for the like, why are you doing that? Yeah. In the hopes to get. $5,000, and, and, and I just have to keep going back to the well to try to do that. So the, someone would say, well, why else would you gamble? Why else would you gamble money at a card table? Here's yeah. my answer. Yeah. Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. This, this, so this was my next point. Was go- Yeah, I wanted to talk about and entertainment. So here's, you know, here's what I would say. it's different, and I think it can be. It definitely can be. And I guess this this is the line that I've drawn. I, I don't know if I should say this or not. I'm going to. I, I have played card games for money. <laughs> I like it, people's houses yeah, and stuff. You know. Yeah, in a, yeah, somebody's house, just a couple of buddies over. I have no, I have no opposition to it. And here's kind of how I would, I would see it. Maybe you want to go to the movie uh, and dinner and spend thirty bucks on popcorn and a movie for three if hours. You can go to a dinner and a movie for thirty dollars. I don't even know. You what... tell me where, and I'm in. <laughs> okay, but if, yeah, I know. Whatever. Yeah, I, fifty I, bucks, whatever, whatever it is. Still. <laughs> right. Yeah. So for you, you were like, that's how I want to spend my three hours of entertainment. Exactly. Exactly. The you know, to, to me, like I, I see uh, a card game with guys as just hanging out with guys, uh, having, having a good time, uh, enter- entertainment. Now, is there a potential return? Yeah, there is. Somebody could be making the money. So I guess to me, where I would have to draw the line is saying, whatever, this is the $30 that I have when I lose it. Awesome, man. We'll just hang out and talk and have coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not bugged by it. I'm not bugged by losing the thirty dollars. Is it okay to be entertained by what for some people has become a life crippling mm-hmm. addiction, leaving people in shambles? Like you're 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 doing the same thing, right? You're walking you're doing what has caused people to lose their house and ruin their family for entertainment. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to I, no, cause it's a problem. Fair. I love it. I love it. So we can do that for entertainment? Like, this has yeah. wrecked families. Yeah, so to me, I would say with with discretion, personal discretion and stewardship, I guess to me, I'm, I'm saying that I, I can't answer that for everybody. I think I can answer it for me. I would, I would have to say on the other side, somebody has wrecked their life spending too much money on movies, and popcorn and food is done, done the same thing. Amazon's what's, what's a, literally the, the new the new addiction. It's like the, yeah, the one click yeah. purchasing right. is ruining people's finance. Boxes coming every day. They, you get a high. I get it. I get. Do you ever get like an, you're not you're I not a material. Do you don't I, battle materialism. No. I can. Yeah. I ordered oil for our my son's motorcycle the other day, yeah. and I I one click it, and when it showed up, I get excited. The Amazon. I'm like, oh, it's my oil. What? But I'm That's like, funny. oh, dude, it's it just like, it, yeah. so people get that, that becomes an addiction. I guess to validate your rebuttal. Yeah. So I'm, I guess I'm just saying. So then is that, Amazon evil? No, not necessarily. No, not, not, not necessarily. And even some of those things you would say is a necessity, maybe. I don't know what you're getting, but you know, the food, whatever. Uh, right, yeah, right. Could be. So um, I guess I would say I would, I would take that principle f- for everything. A lot of people think of gambling and they think, go to the casino and... You lose, you lose some money, and then what do you do? You go to the ATM, or you forward you forward the money uh, from your. You pay, can't find from, a bathroom in a casino, but you can find an ATM. Right. In a minute. It's <laughs> right. something. It's right. something. I just came from this in Vegas. I I, man, yeah. I use a bathroom. Can't find it. Yeah. But you pass six ATMs trying to get to it. Right. So to me, you know, if you want to just look at that example, I would say that is 
One, the uh, Bible talks about stewardship. I would say that that's poor stewardship. All right. Number two, that is that is on that line of um, 1 Corinthians 6, 12, of that this thing has power over me or it's controlling me. That's a good me. point to make. Now, again, go back to Amazon, <laughs> whatever. You can kind of argue the same thing with what is controlling you, what has power over again, you. Again, food, which we are getting. Food, we keep, well, we keep which, teasing. We keep but, teasing this but one. But it's a real thing, too. It has a little bit more prep than... Um, You'll see when we get there. Movies, binging, Netflix. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, how far you want to go? Right, right. So let me, I got a question. Keep whatever. it coming. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, you, you, you make good points about, you know, what you're t- saying right now. However, is it a bad, is it a bad witness? It's not a bad witness necessarily for me to eat dinner mm-hmm. or order an Amazon box because this is how we do business and function in society. Ain't nobody have to sit down at a poker table. Mm -hmm. Is it a bad testimony to get that close to what some people would call vice Mm -hmm. for your personal entertainment in view of those that can have a major problem? Yeah, I guess my answer is is it can be. Uh, I think... This this one is hard, even for me personally, to know like where where that line is because I, I... I would imagine that you can do that for almost anything. And who who is that person? And so I would say mm-hmm. whatever. Let, let's just let's just put it in a scenario where I'm with my uh, five six guys. We go up north, whatever, for a weekend, and when we play cards, like I know I understand all of their mindset. If I invite okay. whatever somebody else from the church or a guy that's never played cards before, I would be very. Uh, concerned about what what that attitude is and where where that's going to come into play. I mean, I guess casino is a little bit more public. I'm just about to ask. Yeah, casino is a little bit more public. So okay, so you say that mm-hmm. right there. Yeah, it sounds like you're only comfortable with it if you're hiding it. <laughs> I'm just trying it's, to no, cause the it's, friction yeah. here to make people yeah. think about it. Yeah, would you go into the Detroit MGM? Is that still a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Your same guys. Let's say there's uh-huh. four total guys, including you. Yeah. Hey, you want to play cards tonight? You always play cards. You're fine with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but let's go down to the MGM. Let's play down there. Let's have an actual dealer. Let's put this forth the same amount of money. Let's be done when we always are done. But let's go down there. Would anything rise up in you and go, "Uh, I don't know? I have not done that. I have not gone downtown Detroit to do that. Uh, Honestly, I would have no problem with it. The, The only difference with that is... For the for the most part, for the most part, the stakes are a wee bit higher in a in a room like that. What stakes? Actual dollar amounts. We'll take that out of it. Yeah, I'm right. talking only about. But yeah, yeah, yeah. People, you know. Honestly, I wouldn't, and and I would be more than welcome to open conversations with that. And uh, you could say maybe I shouldn't. I'm not doing it. I don't. I don't do it. But I, I wouldn't have an issue with it. I mm-hmm. don't because I, I guess I feel in my mind. I I am comfortable with how much I could lose that night uh, based mm-hmm. on entertainment. Um, I, I'm comfortable with where I'm at in my finances to know to know that line. And I'm not I'm not trying to justify it by saying this because again this is this is not even something I do. But sure, yeah, dude, sitting at those tables, man, like being around people, like there's a lot of conversation that happens like you this is you, a decent point you, to make and i'm not please no i'm not trying to sp- over spiritualize this cuz uh, yeah i'm not i'm but glad you're saying that somebody's going to say go to the bar point. and get drunk and have a conversation <laughs> that, get, that would be it. the next it but someone right now is going scott it. so what you're saying we participate what my sit around yeah. i can do that smoking marijuana around a fire too so i'm supposed to yeah. be doing that and yeah. it's like how far you know yeah so again that's me personally that that's why i i have had really good conversations over a card table Generally in a, in a guy's house or whatever, a lot of good conversations, man. Uh, real yeah. real it things. It caters to that. It that does. It does cater to that. It's just a. It's, it's just a. Yeah. And I know uh, there's there's a million questions with that. So, uh, how about you personally? Do you do you gamble in any way? Let's talk about. Uh, oh, four hundred and fifty-four million. You know why I would buy a ticket for that? The love of money. I would want because I would want four hundred million dollars, so I'm not gonna buy a ticket. Okay, have you ever? Does that ever cross your mind to go 
Five bucks, man. What if just somehow I hit this? And you're you're already super spiritualizing it, going, you know what I could do in ministry with four hundred million dollars? You've Here, thought this. Here's my actual. <laughs> here's my actual answer to you. Not in the least, and it's not, not in the least. No, but here's why. I don't want people to think. Uh-huh. I don't want to portray a self righteous person. Yeah. Here's why. To, that is the biggest scam in America to me. I think there is so. I'm just donating $5. Yeah, yeah. And the chances of being struck by lightning are infinitely higher. And so I'm like, no, like, I'm not, it, it doesn't even occur to me that I could win. It is a game for suckers. Mm. Like, and I just don't want to, And I think, like, it doesn't even, not 1% do I ever think, maybe I should buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. I see the signs on the highway and I just smile, like, who would do that? You're never, ever going to win. And I'm not judging. No, I'm not even calling them sinners. And I'm not saying I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I I I wouldn't do it because I'm convicted or anything. I'm not even saying that. I just that does. I don't like being played a fool. And that's what that seems like to me. So that's why I do not. That's fair. But you had an earlier question. Do I gamble? Yeah. Do you in any way do you gamble? I have in my. I I would say no. But you know, fundamentally, like no. Mm-hmm. I guess um, I have in my life walked by roulette tables. I've, I've snowmobiled in the Upper Peninsula and, you know, the Indian reservations. Have yeah. you seen call it that? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah. Uh, and so, and I've walked by the roulette table and I've put like $10 on red and one, quite frankly, uh, right. you know, and the ball goes around. I don't have a problem with that. I've, I've sat down, but mm-hmm. do I do it like, hey, let's go down to Detroit tonight, have some food and hit the casino. That's not ever a thing for me. Mm-hmm. I've literally never done that. And like to where that is the outing. I've been in many scenarios where I'm walking through casinos for different reasons, whether it be Detroit, whether it be Las Vegas, yeah, whether it yeah. be up north. I've been to Las Vegas five times where, where you're just goofing off with people and you're mm-hmm. like, put, put $5 right there. Let me see what happens. Like, I, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. So yes, it's not like a hard line where it's like, okay. hey, try this meth. No, I don't, I don't smoke <laughs> meth, dude. Like, I, it's, it's over. It's not, yeah. it's not like that for me. It's, it's a neutral some somewhat dangerous thing. It's a neutral thing with a high risk to your heart, to your finances. It, it could be an addiction. It's not a problem for me. And I just so uh, let's let's uh, we won't take too much time on this. Um, I feel like we've talked a lot without actually giving any <laughs> real answers. But what about uh, cryptocurrency and the stock market? How, how do you <laughs> w- how do you, how would you see that? And you can answer this anyway. Is it any different than um, uh, twenty dollar poker? Man? poker game no i and people can say what they want to say mm-hmm. you can give me 14 reasons particularly with crypto it is no different mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. it's no different than oh well, yeah well you can calculate because the banks are now backing bitcoin you can say the same thing about the mathematical realities would, on the agree, roulette table the yeah. exact same thing so i yeah. i have purchased about 200 dollars in crypto and How's it doing? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look. Yeah. <laughs> it's I have an app right here. I don't recommend it, and I and I don't do it anymore. I got hyped on it for a second. Uh, one of my friends got. They're like, "Oh, try this." So on the spot, and then the next day I put like I'm like I'm gonna put a little more because it started going up. It becomes a, it's a casino. Mm-hmm. I have eighty three dollars and eighty four cents right now. It used to be I started with two hundred. It was up to like four hundred once. I'm like, check this out. I'm down to eighty three bucks. I'll never put more money in. It's totally an electronic casino, and I was just goofing off, and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Okay. Somebody does, and it works. God yeah. bless you guys. Yeah, yeah. And they probably study it and understand it a lot more. Probably um, sure. Yeah. 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 So yeah, but to me, it's the same kind of deal. So yes. I guess if that's I guess there I gamble I guess if that counts. Yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah, I, I think did. sure. It's, I guess it, I again. Did. There you go. There's Bitcoin, thirty nine Bitcoin when I bought was at sixty eight thousand. So it's wow. crashed since wow. then. Wow. But you know if you caught it when it was at one thousand, you're like a billionaire. So yeah, you know have a blast. Yeah. I mean that to me that's the same thing as winning the Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it, right? Someone's got to. Someone's Somebody got to do it. Someone. Just, okay, let me um, let me f- frame this up with kind of just some some thoughts that I think through uh, when doing this biblically, and then you can kind of answer for yourself. So, you know, how how much is too much? You know, I I would liken it to 
you know, entertainment and going, what would I spend this on, on a movie or a, mm-hmm. uh, what, whatever that is for you, I think is okay. I think um, the stewardship side of it, mm-hmm. understanding the risk at hand and understanding what happens. If I, if I lose this money and I've lost a meal for my family or a paycheck, like- You're an idiot. Yeah, man, you've, you've, you've gone too far. We, we yep. can just say that. You got a problem. Yeah. Like, can, can you get up and walk away when it's over? Um, yeah, you got a, you got a problem. Yeah, and then when we when you talk about people would say it, it is an addictive thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So many things. Yes, are. it is. So First Corinthians six twelve talking about Paul says I, I don't want anything to have that power over me or to to, to rule over me. That's and a good so, point. Let's just I want to leave it at this. I, th- I think every person could, if you, if you're honest with it yourselves, you can go, dude. Is is this thing controlling me? I mean, you run into the ATM. Thinking about it. Yeah, thinking you about get a it. rush from it. The, yeah, the rush it's is a, a big problem. thing. When, they would also say, like, when you hit a win a couple times, like, you've got to go bigger. Like, mm-hmm. that, that little mm-hmm. amount isn't enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, those, are some, those are some red flags that I would say. Uh, and then I would add in there, too, of course, your, your, your witness, your testimony. Um, but man, that's that almost is another topic for. It's another we, topic, we but it is a relevant really topic, it's and it definitely is relevant. also yeah. one of the bigger reasons why I, I there's a part of me that would like to go for the entertainment value and actually make a thing of it. I, I don't really like losing money though, so like it, it could sour for me really quickly. <laughs> like but let's say you go and want to, you know, I got this money set aside, a hundred dollars or something. We go torch it, and you know that's whatever. Yeah, there is a side of me. Uh, where I'm thinking about my witness or stumbling block to even brothers and sisters. I know people at the Rock Church, they might even be watching right now, mm-hmm. that have had major, major life-altering problems with an addiction to gambling. Mm-hmm. I would never want to... I mean, that's like taking a former alcoholic out for drinks. Yeah. I would never want to be the source of a problem for somebody. For, right. So I right. steer for a lot of reasons, but that's a reason also. I steer away from it. But I can't call it sin or condemn people that yeah. have the right yeah. framework for it. But I just kind of lean away. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, I put some money on red, goofing off. But I, but I, for the most part, lean away, and that's the reason because it is, it's, it's a loaded gun, man. Yeah. It's a loaded gun. Yeah, yeah, and you could, you could see the potential danger with it, and I, and I understand where the questions come from, and the concerns come from. Uh, but you know, I guess. To me, like I, I'm, I'm able to filter through those things, and I'm not saying I've done it perfect the whole time. I'm sure I've made mistakes, but I was, I would also say this: let's say I do have this thing under control. I got issues elsewhere. Like there are other things. So I, so mm-hmm. we want to be careful going, uh, you know, looking at the the speck in some guy's eye when you got the log. Good in point, yours, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, for sure. Be be careful with that. Um, and again, I'm not here to try to justify uh, me playing cards with my friends. It's you know, it, it is a few and far between type of a thing yeah i think you're allowed to though yeah. I, you can't people can't say you're not allowed to until yeah. it crosses certain lines that you and the holy spirit i think have to work out yeah yeah i, I think that the first question is is this a direct sin against god that's that's a good question to start from am i um am i being a good steward of what god has given me and is this thing controlling me i guess to me those are the three three filters i would start with but again just just to be fair you can do that with all those a other things, lot, a lot of a things. A lot. Again, a lot you of have things. said before, legalism has its favorites. Yeah, yeah, has its yeah, favorite yeah, things. Yeah. You legal. We, you, we I didn't talk, say it that well. That was good. We talked before about alcohol. Yeah. Legalism had its favorite villain. It was drinking alcohol. And again, we're not here to justify or encourage anybody in that direction. Yeah. But legalism had its favorite. So now we're in the position we have to throttle back and almost you feel like you're justifying something because they made such an undue villain out of one thing, but then ignored other things. Yep. Yep. Gluttony being one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so you can't do that. gambling was another one Le- it legalists is. It's, hate. i would say it's right after that yeah right? they yeah. they put you know again you can't even hold a deck of cards mm-hmm. say what you can't do a magic trick uh-huh what? oh magic you're magic. talking about can't, you're talking say, about, can't say magic can't say magic you're, talking, say, about, you're talking about something else right there magic. that's real that's real people we've heard <laughs> oh that. my goodness so like you, you legalism has its favorite villains and that's not cool that's yeah. not the way to go yeah it, it, it's wrong to do that yep well, cool. All right, be content with what you got. Search your I don't own heart on this said one. It. I don't know I if hope we that did was either. Helpful. I don't People know. People seem to either. like these conversations. I mean, and it also uh, it also brings up more conversations and questions. So we've had some off offline uh, conversations because mm-hmm. of these. So I think this is great. Um, 
continue to talk and we we want to learn from it too like maybe there's something i totally missed and they're absolutely. like man you're being yeah, you're being a moron with this but mm-hmm. i don't know if you can say that but oh okay what am i there? i was what? calling myself that just okay, so you I'm, know uh, dude i'm i'm such the uh what do you call that the, politically incorrect the, 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 the pc police you are you are yeah yeah you probably said some things from the pulpit over are you you're kidding like, dude i've said things oh that's not even getting into it i don't want yeah. people going back looking for it <laughs> i've said things where i'm like oh my word yeah don't be looking for it. Okay, let's let's close this out. I would love those comments. I'm a boy, Finn, uh, my new pup. Um, see if we can figure out what he is. I'm going to work on a DNA test and look forward to that. So, hey, as always, don't take our word for it being his this week, and we'll see you next time on The Encore.